Hi, welcome to In 5 Minutes. We have seen the basic circuit for self bias configuration with RS bypass. What you can say, the source resistance has a capacitor in parallel with it. That means we are bypassing the resistance RS over here. Again, channel, you can say current is flowing when PN junction diode is forward bias P to N. So arrow is from P to N. So it is N channel Jeffet. Then input is applied to the gate terminal. Output is taken from the drain terminal. So can see it is common source Jeffet. What we need to find over here is the input impedance, the output impedance and the voltage gain. So for that what we need to do first is the DC circuit under DC operating conditions. What we do for the circuit under DC operating conditions, we open circuit the capacitors and remove AC source. So when the capacitors are open circuited, this part will go, this part will go and this part will go. So you are left with what is shown over here VDD, RD, RS and RG. Why? We need to do DC analysis is we need to find GM and small RO. So for that we need to do the DC analysis. Now from this what you can see when you apply KVD in this loop current flowing through RG is 0. So I can write we are leaving with negative sign for VGS. So minus VGS leaving with negative sign with voltage across RS. So minus VRS is equals to 0 which that is KVL to gate source loop. So I can write VGS as minus VRS. Now what is voltage across RS is nothing but IDQ into RS. So I can write VGS as minus IDQ into RS. Now you know the Shockley's equation. ID is IDSS 1 minus VGS by VP the whole square. Now in the problem they will specify the value of IDSS, specify the value of VP and from this diagram we have got the relation between VGS and IDQ. So when I substitute this VGS over here, RS will be given in the question. So I have only one unknown that is IDQ. So I can find the value of IDQ. If you know the value of IDQ, you can find the value of GM, which is GMO 1 minus VGS by VP. Once you know IDQ, you can find VGS. Once you know VGS, you can find GM. Right? This is how we need to do DC analysis for Jeffet. Now once we are done with the DC analysis, what we do? We draw the circuit under AC operating conditions. What are the AC operating conditions? We short circuit capacitors and remove DC sources. So how the circuit will look under AC operating condition? This is the circuit under AC operating conditions. Capacitor short circuited. Output capacitor short circuited. Bypass capacitor is shorted. That means you have a resistor in parallel with a short circuited branch. So in this case, this resistance becomes redundant because the maximum current will flow through this branch. Hence RS is not shown over here. Instead of that, a short circuited branch between the source and ground terminal is shown over here. As you know, GM VGS depending on VGS output resistance is specified. You need to show RO otherwise. You need not show small RO. ZI is your input impedance and ZO is your output impedance. Here we are finding the output VO and input is applied at this point. So when looking at the circuit, can say it can be redrawn as between source and ground you don't have anything. So the circuit can be redrawn as like this. You have RG, GM VGS, source is grounded, RO and RD. So it is nothing but similar to fixed bias the AC equivalent circuit for self bias with RS is similar to fixed bias circuit. What we have seen fixed bias, what we are doing a fixed voltage source is applied. So what you can say ZI is nothing but RG and ZO is nothing but small RD parallel to RD and voltage gain is nothing but minus GM into RD parallel to RD. Now if my small RD or say output resistance RO is very much greater than RD. So what I can say very much greater than RD or you can say RO is greater than equal to 10 times RD. I can say AV is minus GM into RD. This is how we can do the derivation for self bias configuration. Thank you for watching in 5 minutes.